Uh, greetings everyone, and uh, today I would like to talk about um, random stuff like uh, mutants and uh, Buddhists. sacred mountain are uh, deep in our consciousness as that aspect of our lives that is a challenging climb to reach the abode of, of God you know, and in the uh, top most uh, regions of our consciousness. Whether it's the sacred tree, which is the center, central pole of the universe, or it's the sacred mountain that's the central mountain of the universe. This painting behind me is an example of a whole series that I did in, of, the, uh, of this theme in the middle uh, 1980s. Um, the, the notions are uh, associated with certainly Egyptian mythology um, since uh, the pyramids uh, are part of that um, rising out of the great morass before creation and God drew forth this uh, mountain out of the um, primordial ooze and in, uh, for Hebrews and the Old Testament the people of the Old Testament Mount Sinai you know and Moses mountain where the Ten Commandments were given, the place of the burning bush, and um, all of these references to deity and the experience of deity, which is the experience of life. Because after all, the more fully we engage in, in the divine, the more fully alive we truly are. That's this particular approach. Along with uh, other paintings that I've shown in uh, other uh, videos of this series, deal with various aspects of our encounter with deity, which has to do with the very structure of our consciousness. So, uh, there's a logical reason why uh, Buddhists don't accept local land spirits well it is because buddhism is uh, you know in, uh, in order of god and um, there is a new place for a foreign god in the place of you know this buddhist order so uh, when uh, buddhism enters in uh, one country all gods become you know uh, demons and uh, there is more demons than you know this uh, buddhist gods so uh, these demons are called Asuras and Asuras are anti-gods and uh, it's sometimes uh, called Titans, you know, Titans are a Greek, from a Greek mythology. The reason why they are sometimes called Titans it is because they are fire beings, they are water beings, they are earth beings, they are, you know, element beings. Uh, I hope you saw a movie that's called The Lord of Rings. In this Lord of Rings, you have these three beings, wood beings. These wood beings or forest um, spirits are Asuras. Uh, they are not gods, they are uh, some spirits that live in this area. So, these Asuras live in a mountain that is called uh, Sumeru. I'm sorry. To... This Sumeru mountain is very important in the Buddhist culture, and this Sumeru mountain is, you know, uh, earth mountain or it's the um, 
mountain that is in the middle of earth. It's not evil. Well, uh, there, it is wrong to say that all Asuras are bad because, uh, you know, someone told you so. Trample. I mean, uh, from very young age you are told that Asuras are bad, but uh, uh, you haven't met any of those, you know, element beings and uh, spirits. So why you are calling them evil? It is simply, uh, we don't like, you know, someone who is very freaky and we don't like uh, mutants. And they use this uh, thing and say that uh, local gods, local uh, land spirits are not real gods. They are Asuras and um, they are, you know, evil and uh, Buddhism will not accept these gods. Saki. <laughs> well, you won't find any paths. It's completely surrounded by mountains, and the shoreline's so craggy no boat can get anywhere near. Guess that means I'll be crawling through the mountains. Why are you going there? Nobody lives there, that's for sure. That's all right. Really? What are you going there for? I'm looking for something. Mermaids. Miss Mana, where is she? Kill me? And you'll never be able to find out where she is. Uh, what do you want? I told you. I just want to find out more about the mermaid. All right, then. There's something else. Everyone here seems to be a woman. And they all look exactly the same. There's something else. Everyone here seems to be a woman. And they all look exactly the same. There's something else. Everyone here seems to be a woman, and they all look exactly the same. Miss Mana is the youth here. The youth of all the women in this village. Just as a human being obtains eternal youth by eating mermaid flesh, a mermaid becomes young again by eating the flesh of a human. So that means you people are... You're mermaids, aren't you? Oh, that's just great. But mermaids don't just eat any human being. It has to be a girl who has eaten mermaid flesh and become immortal. And so for that purpose, once every few decades, we must go down to the human village and find ourselves a baby girl to bring back here. However, mermaid flesh is also a powerful poison. Most girls can't endure the dramatic changes they go through and die. Even those who escape death turn into the deformed ones and are forced to live in that wretched condition forever. But Miss Mana is perfect. So then, you people have been raising her as food and are eventually going to eat her. Mm. Give me a break. That's disgusting.
He's dead. Dump him into the deformed one's pit. Guess that means I'll be crawling through the mountain. You don't, you don't, you're not sharing the books. 